Hey everyone, it's Dr. Clint Steele, a true Cairo, and I am uh, pleased to have with me today Dr. Miles Bodson with uh, Cash Practice Systems, correct? Yes, you got it, sir. All right, you're out in California? You're, you I am, I'm in, I, I'm in Southern California, yeah. Yeah, as I look out my window, I'm in Maine, I've got like um, a couple feet of snow, which I'm guessing you don't have. Not at the moment, but I was just up in Tahoe this last weekend and uh, skiing for a couple days, and I couldn't believe the amount of snow. It was, on the side of the road, it was probably 10 feet tall, the, the, the snow. So yeah. We're not <laughs> but, 10 feet tall, but, but see, yeah, Tahoe and, and where I'm sitting right now, two different things. But yeah. anyway, we, we, uh, we digress. So let's talk about uh, what we need to talk about here. Uh, one of the steps is, for those of you guys watching, one of the steps that I took in, in taking my, my PVA from 12 to well over 100 plus uh, in two different practices was uh, the relationship that I had with insurance companies and the relationship that my patients had with insurance companies and making sure we're all on the same page. So as I talk more about that, as we, as we get more in depth in these steps uh, that I took, uh, that's, that's a huge step. And so uh, Miles is, or Dr. Miles, you can't I call you Miles or? Miles is fine. <laughs> Just don't call me a four letter word. <laughs> right. So uh, Dr. Miles here is uh, an expert in this. Basically he's devoted, how, how, long, how long have you been in business doing this? Uh, I've been in running the company cash practice since 2003, but practice since 1994 uh, when all this stuff um, revealed itself to me uh, of what I needed to do. <laughs> so, yeah, saying, but I've been in the industry of helping chiropractors now since 2003. Okay. So a long time now. And it's focused on, and when we say cash practice systems, we're not talking about docs that want to go cash only, uh, although although you can help them, but we're, we're talking about just, just what I said, getting that relationship in place so that the insurance company isn't driving the the patient's ability to come in or the patient's perception of how much they can come in yeah or, or their 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 care plan right exactly i mean where where you said it exactly right it's not about being all cash although the name kind of implies that but that's not what it's all about it's also about not being handcuffed by the insurance companies that was ultimately my driving force back in the day as to why i ended up going down this path to begin with which was I didn't like insurance companies dictating what I could do. Those are the, and, and those are the ones I got to participate with at the time. Um, my story is, is back in the early nineties when I got started, I wasn't a, you know, in Southern California, HMOs and managed care was all the rage back then, which was unique uh, at that time because it wasn't all over the country. It was just California. And I was a young kid out of school with, uh, no ability to participate in those HMOs or any of that stuff that was going on because they weren't accepting you know new graduates out of school at that time into those programs. So nine out of 10 patients would come in to see me with an HMO or some kind of managed care plan. And I wasn't able to accept that insurance. And so I had to figure out very quickly if I was going to succeed in practice, how do I have a patient who comes in in pain, wants a quick adjustment, uh, thinks of chiropractic for neck and back pain, has an HMO, and meanwhile, I want them to do a lifetime of wellness care. I mean, how do I do that in that environment? And uh, I didn't know at the beginning, and it was a big struggle, but eventually figured it out, eventually figured out how to go to that path. And that's what led to my expertise as to, you know, really kind of figuring out how do you, not just figuring out, but actually applying a model and practice that lets, that gets the insurance company, even if you participate with them, how to get them out of the way so that you're able to have that one-on-one -on -one relationship with the patient and really deliver on the promise of chiropractic for them. Yeah. Yeah. The way I explain it to people is this, is, is, you know, my, my wife and I, you know, we've been together for eight years now we're in love, but you know, and then there's, there's, you know, it's just a great relationship. But if some guy comes in and starts wooing her and starts, you know, telling her things that, you know, uh, you know, how, what a jerk I am and how she shouldn't be in a relationship, like, like it's going to start to create some, some, some doubts. And unless she actually like stops that, puts a stop to it, says, Hey, listen, don't, don't be doing this stuff anymore. Like it's, it, it could create havoc. Right. And that, and that's basically how I, I explain the, the relationship triangle between the patient, the doctor and the, and the insurance company. The insurance company is constantly coming in saying things like, you know, you can only go, you go see them 12 times or, or, or you shouldn't be seeing that, you know, where you can. It's only like they're whispering in their ear. It's like they're whispering in the, in the, in the patient's ear about what shouldn't they do. Yeah, 
Absolutely. And so, and so that's what you do. And by the way, you had a very successful practice too, before you started this, right? I listened to Yeah, that. I mean, I, I sold my practice in 2011, but yeah, very successful practice. Um, my claim to fame is uh, I'm not trying to one up anybody, but at the time I cl- sold my practice, the stat showed our PVA was just over 300 visits. Yeah, um, you know, and again, I'm not saying that to one up anybody, but my, <laughs> intention, <laughs> my intention is, is was to build a practice where I had lifetime practice members. And, you know, if I was to kind of cut to the chase, as to what allowed that is, and you already mentioned the word, there's two things that really did it. One, well, there's a lot of things that did it, but two key things that kind of hang my hat on was really learning how to build out care plans for patients and enroll patients in those care plans. And then number two was automating payments around that, not reminding people of the, of the money transaction over and over and over. And when you did those two things, as long as you delivered on the promise of chiropractic and you did a great job with your services and you're a great technician and a great doctor and all the other stuff that goes along with running a great business, you did all that stuff and then you applied that business model, lo and behold, it led to success. I, it didn't start off that way. I struggled a lot. <laughs> and, oh, yeah. and, if those, and if anybody watches our movie, you'll see the story we tell of the struggles we did go through in, in practice. Yeah. And, and that's the same thing I went through. Like I said, when I had a PVA of 12, I was seeing 125, 130 and then quit, was never going to practice again. And three years later, opened back up. And like, like you said, I had to figure it out. My, my, my patient visits went from zero to 500 in six months. And my PVA now is well over hundred, which is what this group is all about. It is right. it's creating lifetime wellness based uh, practice members that, that get the truth because when they get the truth, Obviously, you're going to make more of an impact. You're going to increase your income. You're going to decrease your stress. Right. Uh, you're, you're just going to reach more people, right? And so I wanted to just do this video here, Miles, to introduce you to the group. Uh, I know you've posted a couple things in there. You, you post your video. By the way, I, I commented on that. I, I pulled up Amazon the other day. Yeah. And- up and said it wasn't available. Yeah, so. I, I, actually, I actually temporarily took it down from Amazon. I'm actually having people go to the website right now. Just okay. go to thecallingmovie.com. Right. Um, I also want to just chime in for a second. You know, by the way, so I don't want to skip over that. If you want to watch a great movie, I think it's great. Go watch thecallingmovie.com. I don't really want to call it a movie. It's, I mean, I do refer to it as a movie. It's a 45-minute uh, story about uh, our beginnings, and, and it really features chiropractic uh, in a very positive light. So I encourage you to watch it. Doctors awesome. tell us all the time that when they see it, they feel really inspired by it. All right. So there's, the, cool. there's the plug for the movie, but yeah. I just want to just briefly reach out to why you and I are even talking. And that is you invited me to join the group and I saw some things going on in the group from comments being made. And this isn't unique to this group. I've seen it in other Facebook groups as well, where doctors are chiming in on things where they're not really giving they're, I understand where they're coming from. They're coming from a place of love and they want to give advice and this is what you can do to succeed. But unfortunately, when it comes to the world of a cash model, when it comes to the world of uh, finances and stuff, there's a lot of compliance things that a lot of doctors are just not aware of. Um, And I see a lot of things being said to be done in groups that potentially can get doctors in trouble. And where I'm here is, uh, the reason we're talking even is because I saw some of that going on and I wanna be respectful to the group. I don't wanna just chime in and jump in and saying you guys are doing something wrong. But I do wanna have the freedom to let you guys know, or I wanna talk with you guys at times where if I see something that isn't right, I don't want to get attacked. I just want to come in there and say, listen, guys, this is the way it is. I didn't make up the rules. These are the rules that are applied. And listen, my job when, I, when I'm consulting and I have the, the, the privilege of working with thousands of chiropractors now that make sure that nobody's going to get in trouble. Everybody's doing things properly and, and correct. And that's not to point fingers at anybody. That's not to make anybody wrong. That's not, like, that's not to attack anybody. It's none of that stuff. It's clearly just simply listen, this is the way you do things. And the, one of the, the, the things I'll often say is, is that DC, and I didn't make this up, I've heard other people say this too, stands for doctor of creativity. You know, at times when doctors get really creative when it comes to the, the business model they're running or the finances they're running, and that creativity often will get them in trouble. So I'm not here to be the police. I'm not here to, you know, do it. that's not my job. But if I see something not being done right, Doctors, I'm going to let you know um, in, a, in, the, in the most subtle way I can without, you know, coming, you know, you're, you're doing something wrong or being illegal. And um, I would encourage you, if you have questions about that stuff, you know, reach out, ask me, you know, put it in the group. It's great to have a discussion around it. One thing I'll also mention that you need to be aware of in a group is there can't be any discussion of fees or avoiding any insurance companies. It's illegal. And I just want to put this out there for the group to know this. You can't in a group format say, hey, what do you charge? I'm going to charge the same thing. That's called price fixing. As a group, you can't do that. 
Uh, that'll get uh, Clint and his wife in trouble for managing this group. You can't have an organized group that saying you're doing these prices. And the other thing you can't do is say, hey, I'm avoiding this insurance company or I'm not going to work with Blue Shield. That's called boycotting and that's also illegal in a group. So just is two little things right there you got to be aware of in a group format when you're doing these discussions. But oftentimes doctors will point out things that they're doing in their plans or the way they're discounting. And it's usually around the world of the way they apply quote unquote cash discounts, which by the way, there's no such thing as a cash discount, but there's no, you know, the, the, the way they're doing things, is it, it's potentially going to lead down a path that will lead them in front of their state board or in front of a, a, a regulatory agency. So we just want to make sure, I'm not here to use fear tactics, that's not my intention, but my intention is, is that I want to make sure that doctors are doing things properly. And um, so that, that's really kind of why you and I are even speaking. Well, yeah, and, and one of the reasons, like I said, that I, I wanted to have this conversation is because I, I want... I want people to know the truth. I, I want people to know the rules and the, and the laws. And, and what you just said is absolutely true. I mean, the state of Maine as, as a chiropractic uh, association, we got in trouble a few years ago, like the insurance board was gonna take us to, to court. And it was, it was a big deal because we, we had gotten together and talked about you know, price structuring and, and things like that. And, and it really is serious stuff. So yeah. Um, so I don't want other docs, you know, I, I told my wife, I said, when we have this conversation, I said, I, I don't want docs that are that are following us that we're putting together into this group to get in trouble because we're we don't know you know ignorance is not is not bliss right it, it's not we, we need to know this stuff too so uh, so I appreciate your time and I appreciate you coming on and uh, I would like to do some more stuff with you in the future miles if we get some some docs asking questions maybe we'll do a live every so often or we'll sure. we'll record a zoom call and uh and there's some other things that uh hopefully we'll be doing in the future too so excellent thanks for having me thanks so much miles appreciate it man have a great day you too